Welcome Explorer here and we're on my final part of my uh, Gen 5 home lab. I was calling it the quest for more cores and in this part we're just going to review the final steps it takes to uh, complete this build. As you can see most of the components uh, are pretty well installed um, and we wanted to address some of the hard disk placement right out of the gate. Uh, as you notice here you're probably noticing that the uh, bar has some uh, cut marks in it. That's absolutely right. Probably one of the biggest disappointments of this case is the ability to mount uh, SSD drives or those two and a half inch drives and then plug your cables in. Whether you're using these uh, SAS cables like I have here or the SATA cables, the problem is is when the drive mounts on it, it mounts so flush that you can't insert the cable. <laughs> Whether it's a SATA cable or these SAS cables, they actually don't go in properly. There's a lot of pressure there and they don't mount. Um, one of the tricks I tried was, if you notice also here, there are grommets here for the three and a half inch drives. What I did was I actually bored these out and tried to move these grommets to the space to give a little bit more space for the drive to see if the cable would fit, and uh, that turned out to be a negative. Um, so what I had to do was I actually went through and uh, got out the old uh, angle grinder and the sander and uh, actually cut these out myself making enough room for this SATA cable to fit without putting too much pressure uh, on the disc. Now again, this is a vSAN design. I'm guessing you could probably tell by all the stickers down here. But uh, in vSAN, as you know, we need cache drives and we need uh, storage drives or capacity drives. So these are my two flash drives. I have the 200 gig uh, hard disks, or excuse me, uh, SSDs mounted here. And then I've got two more uh, 600 gig drives here. Uh, what you're not seeing is the other two drives, which are on the back side of the case. Now we've got to go around here a little bit, and you can actually get a view of them. And they hide right there. So that's kind of nice. Once again, great case flexibility. You're able to mount a lot of drives in this case, and it actually works pretty darn good. So let's go ahead, and we're going to get this bar out of the way, and we'll see the other components inside the case. All right, so looking in the case, the first thing you probably notice is that video card here. So once again, I'm using that bit mining style uh, riser, right? Comes out with a USB cable, and then it plugs into the PCIe 1. And that's because the video or the, the system board didn't come with any video. So I had to supply video. This setup, the card was about $9. The riser was about 4 on Amazon. You can check out all the prices in my uh, design considerations. And then you just plug it right into the PCIe 1 slot. Done. Simple video. That's all I need for virtualization. Don't need anything crazy. Uh, underneath the video card, we've got our 10 gigabit card right here, which is for networking. And underneath this, which is a little bit hard to see, it's this card right here. Uh, that's actually the uh, IBM uh, JBOD. Coming out of that cable, we've got, or coming out of that card, we've got these two cables here, which are my SAS cables. And those loop around to the hard disks that I've mounted here, the back, and the SSDs, which you just saw. Moving up the stack a little bit, we've got our uh, the uh, deep cool. Uh, coolers mounted to the processors. What I'll say is be careful mounting those and kind of mount them in a star kind of position. You know, start on like one corner down here, right? Uh, you have to take the fan off and underneath there will be two more bolts. So you start in this corner with this bolt, this bolt, right? Go down to this one and over here and make sure you get them in right because if you get them cross threaded, you're going to have a bad day. You're going to ruin your system board, right? And then you got to figure out how to fix that. It won't be fun. So take your time, do it right. The bolts slide on their mount points a little bit so you can get the angles quite right. Take your time and screw them in. You don't have to, you know, tighten them down to, to the 10th degree. Just get them snug. They'll stop. When they stop, you're done. It's that easy. Don't over tighten them. Plug them in. The other thing about this case fan is I've had to move it as well. And it's a little hard to see, but the uh, it actually routes back here, routes behind the cable back down to where the headers are. And folks, other than that, I just have a little bit of power to do, which are all these Moldex connectors I have to hook up. Get those all hooked up, and I'm done. And folks, that is it. That is the Gen 5 build. Uh, I'll be rocking vSAN here real shortly with all three of my cases, and I'll be posting up some on the software installs and, and other things that I go through as I move forward. But that ends this part of the uh, Gen 5 build. Thank you so much for watching, and do hit subscribe below.